This is Angie with Angie B TV. I'm here in Akron, Ohio with Kevin Dorsey. He's a producer, filmmaker, musician, um, vocalist. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you letting me interview you. I know you have a very, very busy schedule and I'm honored to have this time to interview you today. My pleasure. Thank you very much. I just had a few questions to ask you. Mm -hmm. um, could you tell me about how you're involved in the music and film industry? Uh, I'm involved in the industry as a vocalist, a musician, producer, arranger, and composer. Okay. And uh, I'm in year 38. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Quincy Jones brought me to LA in 1984. Okay. I've been going since then. That's great. And you're originally from Akron, Ohio? Hometown right here, homeboy, yes. Wonderful. What side of Akron? East side. East side, okay. The only, only side. The only side. Well, I'm from the north side, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, who were some of the musicians or bands that influenced you growing up both locally and nationally? Oh, um, my goodness. The Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, I love them. Tower of Power, okay. Donny Hathaway, Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, uh, bands like Seals and Croft, <laughs> Chicago, Blood, Sweat and Tears. Um, I mean, in my industry, in being a studio person mm -hmm. and tour person, you have to be able to deal with in every genre. Okay. To be successful. So I've from country western to heavy metal. I've been privileged to do it all. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's that's great. That it's not just one, like you say, um, not just country or R and B, you just yeah. across the board. Mm -hmm. That's that's wonderful. Um, I heard you play some instruments. What instruments do you play? Uh piano. Wonderful. Uh, but Lord knows I haven't picked up a horn in years. Okay. And then use it for me. I use the piano to write. Okay. And then to finish the product, hire the best people who that's what they do daily. Yeah. That's amazing. You're, you're very talented. My um, favorite artist who's now gone is Prince, mm -hmm. and he played a lot of different instruments as you know yeah. and and like you produced sing did you ever meet him yes okay oh yeah yes mm -hmm. did you do anything with him like bowling uh, bowling we bowl yes oh yeah we had a mutual friend who was uh wendy's twin oh suzanne suzanne male boy okay and we bowl and do stuff like that who was the best bowler <laughs> um, who are some of your favorite artists or projects you've worked on? Oh, artists, my goodness. Michael. Michael Jackson. Um, one of my favorite projects that didn't get a lot of theater time was Five Heartbeats. Okay. Which I had the pleasure of being one of the heartbeats. Oh. Um, Lion King series. Uh, I seen Spider Man and The yeah, Color Purple. Yeah, Color Purple was my first. Uh, I get a lot of. Uh, get teased a lot because of the film I did, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh. And, he... uh, they teased me because I was a guy who did, oh yeah. <laughs> you know? So. Oh yeah, I remember. And I said that too. <laughs> but not as good as you. Yeah, so, I mean. Man, I've been blessed. I mean, I just finished working on a new film at Top Now Nope. Okay. Field film, and prior to that, I just done Doctor Strange. Mm hmm. Um, so, you know, I, I just feel privileged to be able to work on so many, so many great projects, you know, in, during my career. Yes. And uh, 
even after doing this for so long, I, I still feel I'm just getting started. Well, you're again, you're amazingly talented, and um, you know, keep doing what you're doing, oh, yeah. and you are very blessed, and you're also uh, affiliated with um, Zip City Entertainment. Yes. And that's bringing national artists and acts to Akron, Ohio, correct? Yes. Um, I was asked by Marco Somerville and the mayor to come home here to Akron, Ohio and help to help bring national entertainment here, okay. which a lot of times Akron, unfortunately, is bypassed because of its size. Mm -hmm. And the acts go to Cleveland, Cincinnati, and Columbus. So, True. Uh, myself, George Lee, and Greg Edwards, both of Akron, from Akron, excuse me, and I've known since childhood, uh, we, we formed an entertainment company here. Okay. That will bring the talent here, but also we're going to branch out into the community and do community events, you know, for the young people, oh. seniors. Okay, I mean, you're going to reach everybody. We don't want to leave anyone out, and uh, and plus, not just bring uh, black entertainment to Africa, I mean, I want to bring entertainment to the city, period. I want to get all genres. Okay. You know, and uh, because, hey, all lives do matter, especially when you're trying to bring a community together during these crazy times here. True. Right True. So yeah, we, we don't want to be pigeonholed. I agree. So, well, I appreciate what you're doing, and I know Akron and the citizens do. And um, yeah, let's see. What would you like your legacy to be? You know that I was first of all a good man. Okay. A great father. I did well by my industry. Okay. And uh, that I did well uh, for my community here as well as Los Angeles. And uh, that I was, man, just me, just a, a good person, a kind person uh, who loved what he did for a living. It shows, and it does show, mm -hmm. yeah, that you do love what you do. And uh, was able to spread that, you know, mm -hmm. from Athens to Paris to Tokyo to, I mean, around the world. So, that's what I love. Okay. Mm -hmm. From me meeting you, you're a very nice person and humble, and I think you have all of those traits. So um, Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Um, let's see. Who are some of your favorite artists you've worked with? Once again, I'll say Michael, I'll say Elton John, oh, yes. Sting, okay. Whitney. Oh, very great, the talented artist. Aretha, Luther, Toto, uh, Phil Collins. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so many. Stevie. Very amazing artist. Gladys Knight, Dion Warwick, Stress Hand. Yes. Uh, Neo. Okay. Uh, and believe it or not, Kanye. You know, a lot of people mm -hmm. think he's a little to the left, but musically, he's, he's, he's pretty good. Cool. <laughs> okay. Pretty different, if you will. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's always fun when. to, you know, play with the youngsters. Yeah. You know, they kind of marvel at what we do since it seems like what we do is becoming an art that slowly fades out through the technology and things of this nature, you know? True. Not too many singers anymore because you have Melody who can, which can control the pitch and fix the pitch and do this and do that. And yeah, so they don't really have to do too much, like yeah. like the old, yeah. the older musician or vocalist. And, and people, you know, kids aren't taking music lessons like they did when I was young. 
Hmm. You know, and so it's unfortunate. Everyone wants to rap and, and do nothing. So that's I agree with you. Um, what are some of your biggest accomplishments musically, and when did you get your big break? My big break came from uh, in 1983. I was attending Morehouse College in Atlanta, singing with their Fleet Club, which is world renowned. Oh, okay. And we were touring the West Coast. Mm -hmm. And Philip Ingram and my partner Zane Giles, um, it, they turned me on to an audition at once it was holding at the time. I wasn't thinking about doing that. I was in school and thinking about my future as one day being a professor. Okay. Um, long story short, I snuck away from a picnic being given by the alumni and went to the audition mm -hmm. in which they said upwards of, I don't know, thousands were auditioning from around the world for okay. four positions in Quincy had open. And uh, they say I was the first of the four chosen. Wow. So that was uh, very, very that that's an honor. My, my big break uh, through Q and Tom Baylor. Mm -hmm. And uh, and my first big project was a color purple. Oh you know, so mm -hmm. I mean, that's from, amazing. From doing that to you know my first gig, gig was the gig was the Dolly Parton show. She had oh. a variety show for one season. Okay. And, uh, and I was in her band, and after that, immediately went on tour with Michael. Oh, so, uh, that's wonderful. That's running around the world with him. That that was which was I mean the most amazing thing. For, I mean, there's yeah, I can't like imagine touring. Best to ever do it. Yeah, King of Pop, yeah. and he yeah. was the best, and he, mm -hmm. and you were, if I'm correct, his musical director for I was at least. Assistant musical director and his vocal director. For about 25 years, uh, correct? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you did. You went all over. They went all over the world. Mm -hmm. You and Michael. Yes. And I'm sad that he's gone too. And I have a friend um, in Canton, and he's an artist. He's only 20 years old. His name's Dante Jenkins, and. Um, he's a big Michael Jackson fan, like I am of Prince, and he does with water, um, colored pencils, he sketches and has uh, amazing artwork. And nice. he did, he did Prince, um, a big collage of Prince, and I bought that off of him after I interviewed him. I have him on my page I interviewed when he was 19. Okay, very nice. But, yeah, he's a big Michael Jackson fan. Cool. Um, let's see. Do you have any future plans or projects for Akron? And what would you like to see happening in the Akron music scene? Uh, I would, like I said, I, my big dream for Akron is to build a school of the performing arts here. Oh, yes. And uh, liken it to fame back in the day. Okay. And because unfortunately, one of the first things that are cut when schools lose uh, funding and their budgets Arts. I mean, it goes even prior to sports. Yeah, you know, and that's so, unfortunate because that's much needed. So LeBron, uh, you know, has the school here. Yes. Unfortunately, they've got a lot of performing arts also. Mm -hmm. So that's something I want to bring here. Okay. And uh, from music to theater to the music business aspect, whether it be entertainment, law, publishing, Motion marketing. Okay. Well, thank you, and I. That's very much needed in Akron, mm -hmm. and. And like I say, uh, expand Chip City Entertainment to where it outreaches more than just the concert venue, but mm -hmm. uh, the community in itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. I can't wait. Until um, that will happen, will that be like in the next year, you mean? We will get a lot of those things in 2023. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Um, let's see. What's one thing that would surprise people to know about you besides music? What are some of your hobbies or passions? Now, you did say you, you bowl. I don't know if you still bowl. Oh, my God, no. 
I haven't <laughs> bowled in years. Uh, <laughs> golf has taken the place of bowling. Okay. In which I truly cannot wait to my business partner, George Lee, to beat him down to <laughs> really run his mouth about the golf course. Oh, boy. Uh, what else? I love to read. Okay. And but, but maybe my spare time is with my kids. Okay. I have two sons who uh, are amazing basketball players. Oh. And uh, my daughter just received her uh, first nursing degree. Oh, congratulations and, uh, to her. She's heading back to uh, do a concentration in pediatric nursing. Wonderful. And uh, my oldest son is heading to a fifth year prep school. Mm hmm. Um, okay. By losing a year of playing during the pandemic. Oh. So the NCAA has given him that option. Okay. And then my young one is, he'll be a junior in high school this year, so he's looking forward to this year's season. That's yeah, well. this will be a fun year, yeah. senior year. Yeah. Yeah. They go well. Hmm? Well, that's wonderful. Well, I appreciate you again and mm -hmm. letting me interview you. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, this is Angie B. TV here with Kevin Dorsey. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, and much love to my hometown here in Akron, Ohio. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.